my name is Adam and welcome back to my channel where I make a tabletop role-playing game. Uh, actually, no, not today. I'm making a robot today. Okay, this might be completely out of left field, but yes, I'm actually fixing this robotic arm. It doesn't have anything to do with role-playing games, so why would I do it here? Well, firstly, it's because I want to. It's a freaking robotic arm. Secondly, I want to elevate the quality of my channel. I'm a pair of hands with a notebook, and that's what I want to be. But I also want to be the best pair of hands with a notebook on YouTube, so I need to up my game again. Now, I could do this by making better content, finishing making my role-playing game, or do game design tips and tricks, or I could up my video equipment. And a robotic arm is exactly what a non-sane person would get. This robotic arm was on its way to the trash, but I might be able to salvage it. Usually, as you can see, I only have a tripod that I set up every time and move it if I need different angles. It's not a problem, but with this arm I can move it to the exact same position every time. Not only that, but I can also make cool moves like pan shots, moving time lapses and dolly zooms. My own personal dolly camera rig that I can use. It's going to be epic if, if I can manage to repair it and control it together with the camera. And that's a big if. So what's the plan here? Well, it's a four step plan actually. Step one. Step one is to repair the robot arm itself. I don't know the condition of it, I've heard there's some booting problems and also some joints that are weak, so I have to see what's going on under the hood. This is also the most crucial step. I currently got a hold of four of these arms, but if I don't get the parts for one of them, then I'm done. One robot like this cost about $15,000 and I don't have that kind of budget. Luckily, I might be able to scavenge the most broken ones of these robots for parts for the other ones. If I manage to get one working, then I can at least replace the tripod, but I've got bigger plans and that's where we go to step two. Step two, is to control the robot with the computer. Usually robots have their own integrated control system that you can make programs or sequences on, but I want the robot to be synced with my camera, so I want to be able to run scripts from my computer that controls both the camera and the arm. That all leads me to step three, controlling the camera. This is the hardest part actually. My camera doesn't have the best interface and I'll probably have to program everything from scratch. Getting zooming, focus and the other settings to work in sync with the robot, this is going to be hard. Lastly, step four, profit. Well, more like the easiest part. It's to program the different poses so that I can just push a button and it will go where I want it to go. And I can control the camera and set up all these things so that all of this goes automatically. With that said, let's go and look at the robot and see how it is. Now, one thing is that usually my videos are scripted, but since I'm repairing the robot and I have no idea of how much work it is or what I'm going to show, everything here is going to be, well, just me. 
and so it's going to be just that, not scripted, but that's it. Okay, well, let's go for the robot thing, okay? okay? Okay, for anyone who's wondering, this is what a robot arm looks like. It's not the same as the ones you see in movies, but um, this is an industrial robot. This is a UR5 uh, from Universal Robots, and it's actually produced back in 20. 10 or 2009 depending but uh, yeah this is one is really old so uh, it's had a lot of hardship and uh, yes uh, it's I don't know exactly how we could fix it but let's let's try it out and see what happens so let's talk a little bit about terminology when it comes to to robots this is a robot arm and that is because well it has an arm uh, and it has six joints uh, which are just uh, motors that revolve um, some 360 degrees but mostly under 360 degrees you have uh, one here one here, one here, one here, here, and here, and lastly here. That's the six ones. And this is also called a six degree of freedom robot because well, the six joints here are configured in such a way that you can move in both X, Y, set, and rotate in all the three axes. Uh, with uh, this kind of setup and with these robots you also have different terminologies like this here is the base joint you have the shoulder joint the elbow joint here and then these are the wrist joints uh, all of these combined uh, yeah so this is what it looks like and and let's now try to boot it up and see what happens when we start it Okay, so I got the, the control box here plugged in. This is the computer for the, the robot itself. And, uh, and here we have the screen. And let's try to just boot it up and see what happens. Okay, it's booting up nicely, I think. Okay, things are happening on the screen. Oh, we got a logo. We got green OKs here. That's nice, yes. We like to see OKs. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, uh, we got a loading screen. That's good. We're starting up. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, yes, we got a main menu. Got a main menu. Next. Okay, installation screen, okay. Uh, okay, let's initialize it. Turn the robot on. Fuck. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. 